now! Hello, this is Billy Corp from the Nostalgia Mall, and we are back today again with the Dell XPS M1210 that we saw yesterday. And this, um, even though it's running Windows XP, believe it or not, this video is my entry to uh, DOS Simber, which is um, something that a lot of YouTubers are doing this month. Um, I believe LGR um, coined the term where people like us uh, do a video about MS-DOS or any type of DOS, really. Um, and so we're running Windows XP in this video, so how is this going to be DOS related? Well, let me show you. I recently discovered a little program that allows you to um, play DOS games in a DOS box, not actual, the do, not the actual DOS box emulator, but an actual DOS box in Windows on newer Windows like XP with MIDI sound and sound effects. Now, if you play a DOS game on here, let's say, I'll just use an example. Uh, Sky Roads Christmas Special, and I have run this game on XP before back in the day. You will get sound, but no music. And that's simply because, uh, Windows XP doesn't support um, DOS sound drivers, and neither does the sound card, I believe. However, there is a uh, program I recently discovered. I forget the name of it. it. Oh, yeah, it's called VDM Sound. And what this um, does, it adds music and sound capability to DOS games in Windows XP. I believe this runs in Windows XP, Windows 2000, but unfortunately this does not work on newer versions like uh, Windows 10. For one thing, DOS games are 16-bit and most versions of Windows these days are 64-bit and as we know, 16-bit applications cannot natively run in 64-bit Windows. So we'll go ahead and install VDM Sound. Just a standard installer. We will just go with the, uh, let's see, comes with a few other uh, features as well, which I think we'll install. And VDM Sound is now up and running. And so, let's go back to Sky Road's Christmas Special. And let's try it again, but first what we need to do is right-click the executable and click this um, little thing in the menu with a musical note called Run with VDMS. And you'll get the um, VDMS VDM Sound Configuration Wizard. And you can see it says it hasn't been configured or used with VDM Sound. So we will uh, do that now. We will do a custom configuration just so we can see all the options. We'll do a new configuration from scratch. We'll tell it to remember the settings. and it sounds very authentic except for the fact the music does tend to run a bit slow I encountered this problem on my uh, Windows XP desktop recently so now it did speed up there a little bit yeah lagged a little bit there, but now oddly enough 
there we go. The space bar is working. I don't know why it wasn't a while ago. So this is a great little solution to um, run older uh, DOS games on an older computer that's not running uh, MS-DOS or Windows 9X. Like this one here, running Windows XP. This way um, you can have kind of an ultimate setup and run all of your old Windows games and DOS games on here. Although with a few caveats, like the uh, music does lag a little bit at times. I'm not exactly sure how it pulls all this off. Now the one thing I wish it was capable of is running on Windows 95 and 98 and ME. This um, program does not support 9X, only uh, XP and 2000. The reason I would love for it to work on 9X is because there are some sound cards out there especially on laptops that just don't have any DOS support at all. And so this would be a great little solution without having to install DOSBox. So let's just try another game. Let's see if what I have on my network drive here. Let's try... Jewel the Jungle. Which right now we're running without VDMS. So we will uh, exit out and configure it with VMS. VDMS, I mean. I, it gets confusing. We'll just do like we did before. And we should have music this time. And again, it's uh, the speed of the sound fluctuates. Like I said, it's not just this lap this laptop that does it. I my other XP machine does it as well. And, uh, as you can see, sound effects don't always work either, but this is a known uh, flaw with this game anyway. That sound effect worked, though. <laughs> Sometimes it even runs too fast, the sound, the, the music, I mean. And we'll try another game. Alright, this one is Hocus Pocus. From Apogee. Okay, this one does not work at all, actually. And I already did configure it, so... Can't win them all, I suppose. <laughs> I will try Monkey Island, though. I'm curious about it. Because that relies uh, completely on ad-lib.
Nope. No sound at all. Like I said, it's uh, not a perfect program. There are times where it will uh, let you down. <laughs> Okay, this is uh, this is getting a little silly now. Here, let's give uh, Sam and Max hit the road a try. And so, let us give it a try. Sound drivers fail to initialize, press enter. Yeah, I had a feeling about that. It looks like it's 50-50. Sometimes this, this program will work, and sometimes it won't. So your mileage will probably vary. Okay, I got Hocus Pocus, Pocus working. Actually, I had to run the setup utility for it. I'm a bit absent minded at times. But yet, whoa. Yeah, you can see it, the speed um, likes to fluctuate again. The fact that you're able to do this at all on Windows XP is impressive, really. But I think if I was to be playing DOS games on Windows XP, which I rarely do because I have machines running DOS and Windows 95, 98 that can do this a lot more uh, authentically. I just keep my Windows XP computers for doing Windows XP stuff. But the fact that this is even possible is pretty cool. So we can just get through this level. Yes. So would I recommend this? I would recommend it only just to tinker with like I did in this video. I don't think this would... Um, I would not recommend this as a DOS replacement because as you can tell there are some uh, compatibility and reliability issues with it like with the sound lagging and jumping um, from speed to speed. 
and some games not supporting um, the sound through VDMS at all. And so uh, I guess your mileage will vary, but would I recommend doing this um, for everyday use? I would not. But the fact that this is even possible, I think is pretty impressive. So hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. The links to these are in the description below. Until next time, this is Billy Core wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.